Hello van lifers and DIYers. I just want to do a quick video of a build I've done for my mother. This van was made for one person to use. But one of the interesting things about it is it has a mini split heat pump inside the rear. And it's pretty stealthy because it's not hanging outside the van. I'm going to show you inside first and then we can take a look at the back. On the inside you can see the layout. Basically we've got a galley kitchen with a single bed, extended desk, wet bath at the back, lots of large insulated European windows with roller shades, microwave. There's the heat pump mini split. So it's running right now on heat pump. Lots of heat coming out. We're running off the lithium batteries. It's very efficient. This is a 110 unit. See the wet bath there. Um, so beside the bathroom, behind the TV is the garage space. And that's where the compressor is for the heat pump, AC. So let's go take a look at that. Just a couple more views of the inside. Heated floors in here as well, which are pretty efficient. Compressor fridge. And uh, she wanted a composting toilet, so we have an airhead toilet in there, in the wet bath. Slightly different layout than I've seen on other van builds. So basically what I did was I put a max fan, the one that does not have the shroud on the back, and put a couple intake vents up above. So basically the fan is blowing out through the compressor and those two vents on top are bringing fresh air into the back of the compressor. So you can see here basically how it works. Unit's running right now, it's very quiet. I'm in a very tight spot in there, but it seems to get plenty of airflow. And the extensions on the vents bringing the fresh air to the back of the compressor so it can pull the air through and then out through the max fan. Still leaves room for lots of storage below and above where the compressor is. And hanging space for cords on the other side behind the shower. The hose run was quite easy uh, because of the placement that I put it in. All my AC cords are um, extension cords using braided cable as per the recommended spec instead of solid household wiring. And when it's running, I don't know if you can even hear it, but it's extremely quiet. It's not very noticeable on the van itself. But it solved a big question on how we were going to mount it on the outside, what that was going to look like, and how, um, how obtrusive it would be sticking out. You can see here, and then when the, when the uh, vent is closed, it seals up quite nicely. Here's a switch, a remote switch you can get for this fan that's wired is not available right now so I'm waiting for, for it to get back in stock. There you can see how it looks with it closed. It's really not very noticeable. You could always paint the fan cover white or put a vinyl on it if we wanted to but it really isn't very noticeable. No problem with airflow on that compressor. Both vent or both drain lines for the air conditioner, inside unit and outside unit, are running down beside the compressor 
through the bottom of the van. I've got the fireplace background noise on, but the plenty of heat coming out of the heat pump right now, and it's virtually silent and quite efficient. We can see right now with the TV going in the other TV going and the heat pump, we're pulling 847 watts of AC. Extremely efficient. You can see there I've got my solar charge controller and my DC to DC charger from the alternator, color control unit from Victron and battery monitor. Underneath the desk here are the Victron 30 amp, 3000 watt inverter charger, two 206 amp hour lithium batteries, and various fuses, AC panel as well. And for convenience on this build, all of the plumbing is located underneath the sink. So we've got a two gallon hot water heater with a drain for winterizing. Pump, 12 volt pump is in there nice and tight. Fresh water tank is down below here. Gray water tank below the sink. Gray water tank has a drain. There's a drain going right through the bottom of the van. So when you want to empty the gray water tank, you come to a suitable location, you can open up the lever and it pours out the bottom. And then the other benefit of this system is that when you want to winterize the vehicle, you can drain the hot water heater and the fresh water with the shutoff valves and your water system all down through the same drain and everything will drain out the bottom. Close it all off and you're ready to go. That's it. Hope you find this useful. If anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer and help out. I find these videos very helpful as I'm doing builds and I hope this helps uh, other people.